Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 26th of March, Saturday of the week of Lent 3. The reading, Augustine, Bishop of Hippo, 354, 430. And yes, it's in Lent and we don't do the A word, but hey, it's in the book. Augustine did it, so relax. Here amidst the dangers and trials, we and others must sing Alleluia. For God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your strength, as Paul says. So then we must also sing here, Alleluia. Man is still a sinner, but God is faithful. Scripture does not say he will not let you be tempted, but he will not let you be tempted beyond your strength. But with the temptation will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. How happy will be our shout of Alleluia there. How carefree, how secure from any adversity where there is no enemy, where no friend perishes. Their praise is offered to God and here too. But here it is by men who are anxious, there by men who are free from care, here by men who must die, there by men who will live forever, here praise is offered in hope, there by men who enjoy the reality, here by men who are pilgrims on the way, there by men who have reached their own country. So, brethren, let us now sing Alleluia, not in the enjoyment of heavenly rest, but to sweeten our toil. Sing as travelers, sing along the road, but keep on walking. Solace your toil by singing. Do not yield to idleness. Sing, but keep on walking. What do I mean by walking? I mean press on from good to better. The apostles say there are some who go from bad to worse, but as you press on, you keep on walking. Go forward then in virtue, in true faith, right conduct, sing up and keep on walking. And the prayer, E. Lee Phillips, 1941. Let not the problems of this day overwhelm me, Lord. Give me to know thy grace that is equal to all I may face now and reliable for eternity. Give me perspective in perplexity, patience in trial, and strength in adversity. Through the Prince of Peace, amen.